Right, what's your question? Uh, thanks, Paul. Thank, uh, good evening, ladies. I'll make this quick. Given that New South Wales, Water New South Wales is responsible for water, uh, given the prevalence of the current fund, uh, flooding um, and the warnings, can you please let your electorate know what your stance is when discussing flood mitigation in the Nepean and Hawkesbury region? Could you tell us how you feel about increasing the wall height in the Warragamba Dam? What are you telling people when you're out there um, interacting um, when they're sweeping up their mess? What do you tell them to, to reassure them that this is being reduced, the risk is being reduced? All right, Susan, the dam. It has been really distressing seeing a second time. In fact, it's a third flood for the Hawkesbury within the space of two years. Uh, and I don't want to reassure people that that there is no more flood coming. You, we can't do that because there has not been the mitigation done that needs to be done. Now, for 30 years, the state government has been trying to... Uh, the Libs in state government have been talking about raising the wall. Hasn't happened. Their own departments are the ones who raise issues of concern about it. I don't consider myself an expert on it. I think, uh, looking at what they're saying, the factions of the state Liberal Party will make that decision. But what I think we could be doing immediately is they could be changing legislation so that the existing dam could be used. If we're going to invest billions of dollars in raising a wall, wouldn't it be good to trial beforehand and see immediately if we can get some benefits out of using the dam as flood mitigation? But let's also immediately, long overdue, get evacuation routes in. Uh, a, a pit town evacuation route is a perfect example. And how about... How about the North Richmond Bridge becomes something that might increase our flood resilience rather than just maintaining the status quo? OK, Sarah, your response as well? Thank you very much for asking the question. And I think rather than swings and roundabouts in answers, having a yes or a no de de decisive answer to your question is important, especially when we're out there talking to voters across Macquarie. And my answer is yes, and I'll tell you why. Because I have grown up living in the Hawkesbury. I spent 12 months of my life living on the river in a house in Windsor. I have spent the last few years with my community, knee deep in mud, uh, looking after them during a flood. I have been on the public record supporting the raising of the Warragamba Dam Wall, and I'll tell you why. Because I can't look turf farmers, veggie farmers, and people who live on a flood plain, plain being the third oldest colony in Australia, houses built well before we were even born, I can't look them in the eye and tell them I won't do what it takes to mitigate flood risk. Well, what, you, you want to add a point? Yeah. Tell me the point because uh, I want to get on to the next one. OK, I start off by saying I know it's a, a state issue, but I want to know what you, as the federal level, are going to do to encourage this mitigation to occur. Instead of blaming the states, let's go to work together and get this done. Okay. Good on I you, mate. Thank you very much. Let's Paul, get... I might just pick up on that. One of the things we're going to do is there's been a $4 billion fund that the uh, Morrison government has had that we helped create that would be for uh, emergency disaster response and mitigation. Not a cent has been spent. In fact, it's now accrued $800 million of interest. We're going to convert that to a purely mitigation fund so that there is uh, several hundred thousand, uh, uh, several hundred millions every year, repeatedly, year after year, to help all our communities be more resilient to flood, fire, storm and the natural disasters that we are so prone to. Sarah, 15 seconds if you want to add, but I do want to get one else. Let's get our next questioner up. Go. And there's a reason for that. That fund has been put aside uh, for future use. And right now, because we have a government who can actually run a budget, there is money in the bank to actually attack those sort of issues now and, and help people who really need it on the ground oh, in these okay. disasters. Right. We haven't seen a cent of money into flood because mitigation. Because there is money available elsewhere. <laughs>